Hey everyone, this is Austin and from the Nerf Firefly Corporation, and today we're going to be doing a review on this absolute behemoth of a blaster, the Nerf Limited Destiny Yowlerhorn. So this Nerf Limited blaster is actually an interesting case, because in the past with Nerf Limited, it was just a simple pre-order system where you just go on, has repulse or whatever, and just pre-order it, and that was that. But with the Yowlerhorn, there was actually an early access system. If you had Destiny 2, you could do something. I'm not quite sure what you had to do, but you could do something in the game where you would then get a code which could then be used on the Bungie merch website to actually pre-order the Yowerhorn early. And yes, it should be mentioned that this was not on Hasbro Pulse, it was on the Bungie merch store, which Bungie is the company that develops Destiny. I myself do not play Destiny, so I was not able to do the early access code thing, but I still made sure to use the regular pre-order because this thing is just too cool. So let's get started. I have never struggled this much to just hold a Nerf Blaster because this thing is heavy. Alright, so with the Yowerhorn, you do of course get your instructions and three of these orange Megadar shells that hold three Megadarts. But what's actually pretty interesting is you do get one of these gray shells that hold three Elite Darts. Very interesting because as far as I'm aware, I don't think that this was originally revealed with the Yowerhorn. So pretty cool. And now to go over the Yowerhorn. So this entire unit up here actually is pretty much all the functionality with it. So to demonstrate how it works, you actually push this thing forward and then this latch pops up. Then you can load in one of your shells and it will align with this piece on the top here. And then once you have the shell in, you need to make sure to push it in all the way and then push it down and then close this latch. Now that you have the shell in the blaster, you need to push this entire unit to the back and now it's primed and ready to fire. Down here we have this foregrip. It does not rotate even though it kind of looks like it should um, and it's also not meant to be taken out. It's one of those pieces where it just snaps in and it's okay I guess. I mean it's there. And then moving on to the actual grip right here. It's okay I guess. I don't know. It's really not that great. I think it might just partly have to do with the fact that it's so darn heavy that it just kind of feels so uncomfortable, but um, it does have a thumb hole stock too, which should be mentioned. And these can be kind of hit or miss, sometimes pretty uncomfortable. I don't know, it's kind of weird because on one hand, it's almost kind of nice because your arm it does kind of rest on it. So I feel like that does kind of help with it a little bit, but I don't know, it's just kind of mid, I guess. Here we have this giant shoulder rest, and honestly, I actually really like that the Yowerhorn has a shoulder rest, because it actually reminds me of the Titan, and I love the Titan. I just love the feeling of, like, resting this on your shoulder, you know? It just feels so cool. It really makes it feel more like a, a rocket launcher. I should mention this, too, that the context with the shells uh, holding three darts is, I believe, because in the game, it shoots three rockets at once. Although I could be wrong, but I thought that's what it was that it shoots three rockets, like a burst, so that's why the shells actually have uh, the three darts. And probably the last major thing to mention is this scope right here, and it does actually light up. It requires two AA batteries, and it has this switch right here on the top, so you just hit the switch, and it's actually surprisingly bright. And it reminds me of the Ambin Phase Pulse Blaster with that red scope, and also now the EE3, the Boba Fett Blaster, which I actually will be reviewing, so... Uh, it won't be my next review, but I will be reviewing it at some point. Definitely a pretty cool addition to the blaster, although it's definitely not practical because you really can't use it that well, but then again, when have nerf scopes ever been practical, right? And I think that just about covers everything about the nerf Yowerhorn. It's just really freaking big. So let's see what this thing can do on the firing range.
So, is the Nerf Yellowhorn worth the $185 price tag? Well, for practicality, uh, no. This thing is beyond cumbersome, and as you guys saw in the video, the performance with Mega Darts is lacking, to say the least. On the other hand, it's a very fun blaster, and I love the loading mechanism. It's very satisfying to use, and really, it's just such a badass blaster. So, overall, I do think that the Yellowhorn is really fun, but also pretty disappointing with the performance and even the comfort and overall ease to use. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys later.